I'm Sue Lynch and I'm a professor in the Division of Gastroenterology and I'm excited to tell you about a new and I think very exciting field of research called human microbiome research. It's really transforming our view of human biology. And it's really the study of the diverse communities of bacteria, fungi, and viruses that call our body home. Um, you could think of it this way. Each one of us is a microbial universe with distinct galaxies of microbes at different body sites. We have a distinct group of microbes that live in the gut, that live in the mouth, that live in the skin. And these are important for human health, we're beginning to understand. These microbial communities develop in early life, and they continue to be shaped by environmental exposures throughout our life course. Things like diet, drugs, antimicrobials, shape the types and the activities of microbes in our microbiome. But you may ask, why does that matter? Well, it matters because microbes in the microbiome encode an immense number of genes, almost two million genes, for example, in the gut microbiome. And microbes are master biochemists. They produce a whole range of bioactive molecules that our human genome doesn't produce. And we're beginning to understand that these microbes, their genes, and their molecules shape human health. So let me give you an example. I'm sure everybody knows somebody with asthma, and that would be because the rate of uh, prevalence of the disease has increased dramatically over the last several decades. Within the US alone, one in 13 individuals is diagnosed with asthma, and a large proportion of those are diagnosed with allergic asthma. And while we can manage the disease, we have no cure. So what about if we tried to understand the developmental origins of the disease? Well, what our group has found is that while there are, micro while there are risk genes in the human genome that increase your chances of developing asthma, not everybody with those risk genes actually develops the disease. But we've asked, what about microbial genes and microbial molecules? Could they be the answer to how disease develops? And what we found is that in one-month-old babies, there are microbial genes in their gut microbiome that increase their chances of developing asthma. So essentially, we can take the contents of a baby's diaper and predict the risk of developing asthma years later in childhood. But I think what's even more exciting is we're starting to understand why asthma develops in those babies. It turns out that those genes encode enzymes that produce molecules that induce dysfunction in our immune response. And this snowballs over time, leading to disease development later in childhood. So armed with this information, we now have a novel approach for intervening in early life to try to prevent disease. But what we're doing in our lab is just really a small snippet of what's going on in this new and very exciting field. And faculty at UCSF are really at the forefront of this revolution in microbiological research. And I believe that what we're doing here right now at UCSF in the field of microbiome research is really going to transform how we perceive and treat humans uh, and promote health.